Good evening YouTube, it's uh, Sunday evening, I've just got back from Mum's It's actually just gone 10 o'clock And uh, do you notice anything different with the sun solo? There's no bottom bracket or crank Yep, I've got it off uh, I don't think I've got, actually yes I have I will just quickly, uh, before I go on to other things, show you what I did. No, I won't, because it's disappeared. <laughs> ah, there it is. What I did, I'll just go over to the bench in here. This is how I did it. But I'd only recommend doing this on a rusty crank that's not salvageable, like the one that was on it, right? If you're going to replace it, then do this. What I did, there's your hole for the cotter pin. I got the grinder and I cut basically straight across here. Straight through down to the cotter pin. Got hold of this arm and whacked it with a hammer there so it bent over. Knocked the pin straight out. But uh, like I said, I'd only do that on a crank that you don't intend to use. Not a good clean one like this. This is quite a nice clean one. And it's a rally, so I could put a rally crank on it, but nope, I've got a full set to go on there, so I don't actually have the um, left side for that one anyway. I've got a near identical crank there, so I'll put that on. Um, kind of sort of went shopping from Biggles as well. There's just a few bits I've taken off. That'll clean up, so I'll reuse that. Most of it won't be seen anyway. Some he got a big box of forty-two rolls of packing tape. He gave me a couple. There's the driver here. cable. The gear cable's still reusable. And I got this for a fiver as well. It's an HP Pavilion Entertainment PC is what they call it there. Uh, but I'm guessing someone from an Arabic-speaking country used this because when we open it up, it's got all these Arabic symbols stuck to a British keyboard. So I guess, but my guess is they were using the feature in here that allows you to change the language of your keyboard, which you can do on most Windows. Uh, was on Vista. I've got no idea of the status of this. I don't know if it works. don't know if it boots up. Is it me? Or is that a fingerprint reader? That's what that looks like to me. Um, so, when I find an adapter, we'll see if it works. In fact, I have got one in here, but I don't know if it'll fit. Uh, it was laying over here somewhere, because I've kept it aside for this one. Is it this? It might be this. Eighteen and a half volt. No, it's not that one. I'm trying on a nineteen. That's what it's likely to be. Oh, bloody! Oh, I'll go find one out of my drawer. I'm going to use a universal one, actually, as that's over here. <laughs> So is my drawer of a, my drawer, my tray of adapters, so my tray of adapters. Uh uh, <laughs> uh hmm. They were over here. Anyway, I'll come back to that in a minute. I want to show you something else that I got from Biggles for five pounds. And as far as we can tell, it works. I've got a tape deck, it's a Morant. The only thing wrong, we'll say, is that there's no bit of plastic in there. But when I played a tape, the um, thingy bar on there was moving up and down as if there was audio being given out, so I'm presuming it works. But we'll be testing that in a little while as well. So I'll just plug this in down there. I'll leave the amplifier plugged in to unplug the record player. And I'll get a cable to connect that up. I'm going to need 
the audio cable now. Look at that, there's one. White, white, red, red. That's what I need, an RCA cable. So, I've got tapes. I'm going to play one of the tapes with a play on. Because I doubt uh, YouTube will pick up on that. Fuck, I was just in there. I was just in there and I didn't get a bloody PC adapter. Which is bottom drawer. No, not bottom drawer, next drawer down. Right. DC 19 volts. We'll try this one. There's a figure eight cable I'll have to find for this. No, I won't because I should have one plugged in. Or down here somewhere. Right. I'm going to set you down there just for a moment. I don't even know if this is going to fit the socket. Will it? No. Alright, we're going to have to take potluck again, aren't we? I've got a better idea. I'm going to take the bloody laptop with us. Instead of going bloody backwards and forwards with a friggin' adapter. Ow! I tripped over the bike frame. Get out the fucking way. <laughs> That's one we've already tried. I'm gonna set you up in this corner for now. Uh, and stand the laptop that way up. So I'll just try. Where is the bugs? No. I have actually got an HP ad adapter somewhere. The way I'm going, I might just say fuck it and go and use the uh, universal one. It's going to be far too big. That. Long tight, long tight. Oh, no, I'll blow it from here to the camera if I use that one. That would not be good. Yeah, that one. No. 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 <laughs> there must be one in here somewhere. It's just, uh. Like I said, I know I've got an HP one. I've got my bloody stuff on. No good. That ain't no good. There. No idea what that comes from. Didn't know I had it. I've gone through nearly all of these and I can't find one. Oh hell no, I haven't been big enough. Um, it's going to be too big, rather. Not big enough. No. No, that's for a specific laptop, that one. I can't believe it, I don't actually have one. Not fitting. Right. Back to the match. I bet that HP one I've got. Is it this one? Is it that one? Nope. Well, of course it won't be, would it? Right. Somewhere in here I do actually have. Okay. Usually the little tub I want is over here somewhere. I think. I last had it when I was looking for an adapter for um um 
the record player. I usually have trays stored over here somewhere, but now I need to find it. Uh, let me just go find that and I'll be Right, I found the adapters and buried under there under all that green radio and whatnot. And the good news is we have a power light on. Let's press the on button. It's lit up. Will it boot? Oh yeah, you can see my reset reflection, look at that. Operating system not found. Right. So either one it's been deleted or two they've um pulled the hard drive out. But anyway, at least we know that works. So I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to grab a few tapes out of here. Beep, beep, Mr. Nemo. Why did I turn the light off? I have no friggin' idea. Right, that there for a minute. Sit there for a moment while I make a bit of room. Plug, radio deck, radio deck, tape deck in. Ampli fire is on. Oh, Cable is pretty a lot longer than I need, but Doing something because it was hissing. We'll try another one. I could it could just be a blank tape. Stop. Oh. 
Alright, is that all? Yeah, it is. Okay, so... Political ambitions. Imran is a very hot political potato. Um, he's a very hot and attractive political potato. I have potato. to say, that's working really well. People would like to get him on their side. But first, the names of certain cities have become synonymous with particular horrors of war. Stalingrad, Coventry, Warsaw, and Revson. This historic German city was renowned for its architectural and artistic treasures, and it had a quiet war until the night of February 13, 1945, when 1,200 people were reduced into rubble, killing an estimated 35,000 people, many of them prisoners of war. That was 50 years ago tomorrow. Thumbs up. Since then, the arguments have raged as to whether the bombing... Stop that. Eject. I've got an awesome working tape deck there. I'm happy. And the laptop needs some work, but that doesn't matter. I'm happy with that as well. I can start work on my road bike now that I've got, well, I've got two parts to take off because you probably noticed the handlebars are missing as well. So I've just got the gear shifter and a light bracket to take off, then I can get to polishing up the frame, basically. That's all I'm going to do. Then I can start uh, rebuilding it. So, yeah. Awesome! Cassette deck works. Laptop works. Bike is ready to go, almost. <laughs> and then two bits to take off. Yeah. I'm looking forward to getting this done. It might take 700 wheels, but uh, that's quite a low frame. The other one I bought the other day, that's have a tall frame. That's why I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. That's going to be far too tall for me. So. Uh, not a lot to say, really. There was a camcorder as well, but that doesn't work. It zoomed out fine, but didn't zoom back in. Or zoomed in, sorry, it zoomed in fine, wouldn't zoom back out. And it didn't look clear when you looked down the little viewfinder either, so... That was a faulty... Um, yeah, that's it. Let's see what I can do with this... Uh, HP laptop. I want to know what specs it's got. Maybe I can boot up into BIOS and see if I can find out some Windows Vista so it should at least have a dual core processor on it. At least. Uh, but I'm not sure about the RAM. It's an entertainment PC apparently so in theory it should have a decent amount. In fact I could just take the um, bottom tray off, or the covers off, I should say. So let's do that. I don't know where to bloody stand you. Um, here we go. Let's do that. I... And you are in a minute. You can probably fill up the sea of my bloody bed valley so I'm going to put a shirt on. <coughs> Sweat the tits off, but I'm going to put a shirt on. <laughs> I might as well take the bottom covers off and find out uh, what we have. That's battery, so it's just two covers over here. What can you see? Not a lot. That's a bit too high, that isn't it? Uh, I know. Two seconds. Get rid of that. <laughs> That's a little bit better. That's a little bit better. Right. Next task is to find a screwdriver that's going to fit them screws. Find a screwdriver. 
We'll try this one. Mm. I'm feeling under this one. It's memory. It looks like the hard drive is under the next one. They may have wiped everything off of it, formatted the hard drive. And... No, nope. it doesn't look. Is that meant to be where the hard drive goes? I think so. So, memory it's got... I might get this one out. I'll be faster. <laughs> you always get one that's got to be an awkward pain in the ass, Right. Well, that's the original HP memory, 2 gigs of RAM, so it's got a gig there, yeah, and a gig there, so it's fit with 2 gigabytes of DDR2, I thought it would be. So, so far it's fully capable of running Windows 7. Might be a teeny bit slow on Windows 10, but probably would run it. And I'm guessing well, that's where the hard drive goes, but it looks like I'm going to be missing a connector from the look of that. Uh, so I may have to get one before I can do anything with it, but they usually don't cost a lot anyway. Uh, if I can find one, of course. Yeah, that's definitely where the hard drive goes. Right, so I'm going to replace these. Oops. So I don't lose them. Ah, oh, it's doable at least. I can fix it up. It shouldn't cost me a lot for a connector. I don't know, if I can get it working fine enough, I might give it to Mum. She needs a good one. I'll give her my old one, because that worked fine. A little bit slow, but it works fine. I was a bit slow to start up for some reason. Looking at that. Right. Let's have a look around it. See what we've got. What we've got on the front. We've got Wi-Fi thingy there. I assume that's the light to tell you it's on. Microphone and two headphone jacks. It's just like that one on there. Except I believe that's an HP. Is it an HP? Is it? It is! So, this is basically the newer version of that, because that's Windows XP. That would have been on Windows Vista, so yeah, this is just the newer version then. Cool. What we got on here, we have a um, Light Scribe. DVD multi recorder, RW, DVD RW, and a compact disc RW, USB port, power jack. As always, with a lot of newer laptops, there's nothing on the back. Got an expansion port there, Ethernet, modem, HDMI, two more USB ports, so it's got three in total, a firewire, SD. MS slash Pro MMC dash XD, so in other words, a card reader, external monitor, and for an extra mouse or keyboard, so that will both if you've got an adapter, a splitter, Wi Fi switch, didn't really see that there. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be a nice one, um, all done up. I've just got to find a, well, Hard drive's not a problem. I have got a good one here. It's just the connector. So what I'm going to do is I'm about to sit and chill out at the PC. I'm going to put the laptop down here so I can go Oops. Google it. Not Google it, eBay it, and see if I can find a connector. 
hard drive connector. Well, that's quite a strange one. Oh, it's a nice looking laptop though. Anyway, I'm not going to drag this video out any longer, so I'm going to call it quits there. So I hope you actually like this video. I actually had a look at a few things. They're the sort of videos I want to keep doing, but it's just I'm having trouble getting the stuff to do it. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow, I hope, when I start work on this racer. We'll start polishing the frame up tomorrow, so stay tuned for that.